Hey guys, we've got uh, Tech here, and looks like we got a little game of chess here. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and I wanted to explain a little bit of the strategy we're going to use here. Um, go ahead and uh, call the space here. And what we did is set up uh, our Dunra with uh, uh -huh. one solo life and uh, got two team speed, three team speed, and 3SS on Thavasa, and I'm just going to go ahead and check the skills here. So we've got, uh, yeah, we want this disable trait. Oh, yeah, looks like we've got a good job. We've got a zero CD on there. So, um, yeah, we want this axe and chains. And then, yeah, revenge is cold and the deep thunder so that's good there okay <laughs> make sure you double check your skills here because you might still have that single freeze on from the zero <sighs> cooldown and then we've got bleed all bleed one this is the one that we want on here in case we need to Give that to ourself again. And then we got an AoE blind on here. Or let curse to all, that's nice. Okay, so that's, that was a zero CD. Okay, good. So let's do curse on there. And then I went ahead and put uh, these relics on. I kept the Jess mask because it gives stamina, even though this other one uh, drains um, as well. It'd be a, kind of a double drain there. Um, and then uh, shield, uh, supercharge amulet, and then stamina draining relics here. He's going to be taking the hit, so we want to kill their stamina when the uh, when they when he gets hit. So what we're going to do is start off with. Uh, High pressure fluid here on their Dunra, which is going to give a uh, turn to Ragnarok, but that turn is going to get deflected to our Dunra. Um, and then after that, um, if there isn't any evasion, then I'll go ahead and uh, just disable the trait on uh, Ragnarok and uh, start the, the loss of combo there. And then um, if there is evasion, then. Um, Actually, same thing, really. If the, even if he throws up evasion, we're still going to just go ahead and do high pressure on Dunra. That's going to give him Ragnarok a turn, um, which is going to go to our Dunra. Um, you know, he's probably going to do a, a stun, and, uh, and that's going to give um, control immunity to the team here. But uh, we should be able to go ahead and uh, work around that with, uh, um, with our move sequence and then if anything misses here um then babari might uh get a couple turns in but um that uh shouldn't do much on the six ts bases anyways here so um so let's go ahead and uh give this a shot and see what happens uh, double check again two six nine one two five two six okay we're good Taunt here. We got the mirror damage from Babari as well. We got to deal with. So let's go here. Okay. So that did that. Okay. Now that killed the stamina. So now we're going to go ahead and do plank needer here. Let's get rid of the anticipation. Okay. And then. Go ahead and do the loss of chosen here to get rid of this stun. Oh, that's right. And we're gonna have this problem because he attracts all the the loss of chosens. Um, oh, shit. Okay, that's okay. Um, so now we want to go ahead and get rid of. So we've got one, two coming. He's gonna get another turn. 
Um, so I'm going to use abyss bottom there. So I'm to control. Need to control. We got the damage mirror. So yeah, let's get rid of him here. And then we'll go ahead and just leave Babari here. Okay, so he's still got the taunt going. Right? So now I'm gonna go ahead and let's get these let's get him cursed, I think. Yep. Okay. So now we've got this. They're still frozen. Now we can do family change. Let's get rid of the trait here. Oh, that's right. I couldn't do the curse because the immune. Okay. Now we killed the stamina here. Um. Okay, let's get rid of Ragnarok here. Now he's coming, Ragnarok's coming here, so I'm going to go ahead and let him use up a turn so I can charge. So now I can go ahead and remove his, and that's what, uh, you have to always be mindful of the turn sequences there. Now I can use my abyss bottom, do a refreeze here. Okay, now at least he's got the freeze hater, so he'll be doing the damage here, so. Oh yeah, now I don't have the taunt, so I can do that. Oh, he got his, uh, forgot about that, okay. He got his straight back. The watch's trait sometimes that uh, expires. Uh, okay. Uh, I'll just go ahead and use this. Fuck SP. I could put this back on too to, to save if I was in trouble, but still got control here, so. Okay, so there we go. Let's hit another one here, just to uh, go through that again, just in case. Uh, C 
see if we get evasion too, so I can just show you guys with evasion. Should be about the same. Actually, I know my uh, Nicole's Rune Guardian's about to expire here too, so I've got 10 minutes left. <laughs> okay. Wonder what happens when it expires in the middle of battle. Let's not find out. All right. Okay, so high pressure. Okay, so that gave him evasion. But he still got Mega Taunt here, so gonna let him take some hits and I can uh There we go. Okay. So now plankton eater. He kept the megatont though. Oh, he still has the megatont. Okay. Um. So now high pressure. Get rid of this. And then let me do this. No, I can't do the dots. But we can do some decent damage here. Oh, it's got a little damage return. Uh, it's only going to be 12, 12k on that. That was good. So I still have the taunt going, but it just hit my Thalassa. Oh no, he doesn't. He just had the icon. Okay, so I should have put Megaton back on him there because I think he used it up on his last turn. Let's go ahead and charge. Nice zero stamina. Oh, 
Oh, this guy's going to get a turn again. That's okay. See those stamina drain relics are key. Still got one left. Okay, guys, so that's it. It's a little tricky there, so... Um, and those are on the six TS bases. The other ones are going to be a little bit easier because they're not as fast. So, um, so yeah, I'm going to go ahead and put that video up for you and go from there. Good luck, guys.